Hi, this is Edwin Young from Keysight Technologies. The following is a video about getting started with RF Pro in Virtuoso environment. This is a video to show how RF Pro works in the Cadence Virtuoso environment. So I have the Virtuoso uh, here. And let me bring up the library manager. And what I have already loaded is a, uh, a transceiver design and a spiral inductor that is uh, designed based on the generic PDK uh, process um, in the Cadence environment. So what I want to do now is to bring up the layout for, the, uh, for a spiral inductor. And this is the layout. Um, and so uh, what I want to do is to send this layout into the RF Pro environment and run a electromagnetic uh, momentum uh, simulations on this uh, spiral inductor. So to do that, uh, I will go into the launch menu, go to plugins, and then go into the RF Pro options. So that will add a menu, our pro menu, uh, to this window. So with that, I can now um, create a new um, RF Pro view for this cell. So I'm coming here, I'm the call this view RF Pro 2020 update two. And um, I know where the substrate uh, file is located, but if you need to choose that, you can go into the library and look for that LTD uh, substrate file. And then hit OK. And this will um, bring up the RF Pro window um, and load the um, uh, spiral uh, artwork into the RF Pro window. Okay, so this is the same spiral um, layout. And we are in the R Pro environment. This is the 3D um, viewing area. You can expand in the Z or vertical axis uh, to look at um, the uh, structure a little bit more closer. So let me bring this full screen. And so to set up a, a simulation, um, first, we need to come into this project area. It shows you, you know, there's these nets here, um, and then there's these pins um, already uh, loaded into the uh, pins uh, area. So there are three pins, the two uh, input pins, and a uh, substrate or ground pin. So we would want to uh, create a port for each of these pins. All we need to do is to bring these pins into these either one of these two um, analysis. So there are two analysis. One is called a full EM analysis. One is the user defined. The full EM analysis will simulate everything, um, all the geometries in the electromagnetic simulation. Uh, while the user defined allows you to choose um, only certain nets, parts, or components to be added to the simulation. So since this is just a spiral, there is no subcircuits, there is no um, active devices. Uh, we can use the full EM analysis uh, for the for this uh, simulation. So we just bring these pins into the port area, and they will be automatically turning each pin into a, a momentum or a EM port using a um, uh, a reference ground, which is at the bottom of the substrate at the reference negative pin for each of the ports. And then we can go ahead and choose, you know, frequency options, simulator options. I'm going to go with the RF mode for momentum, simulating it from zero to 10 gig and run simulation. And I'm going to pause the, sim the recording, and it'll be back. Okay, so the simulation is actually taking only like 19 seconds, so 
we can go ahead and take a look at the simulation results. We can look at, for instance, um, a through path, insertion loss, or um, inductance. So we can look at just the um, return loss and making sure that, you know, we do an inductance. So you see that at about five gig, we have about, you know, half a manual Henry for the inductance. So that is a very uh, simple uh, demonstration to show how we can uh, run a simulation on a spiral inductor. Um, the, uh, the second uh, portion of this video, I wanted to use it to demonstrate how we can do a uh, partitioning uh, process. So if we look at the um, actual VCO, so this is the VCO layout uh, design. It has the spiral, and it also has some active devices for the core of the VCO and some bias circuitry. So this is a sub-circuit that has um, some layout, some primitive layout plus active device. So we can take this whole thing into our Pro and then partition it so that we only simulate um, the spiral uh, with uh, momentum and then um, uh, treat the other uh, parts of the uh, design like the core and the bias um, as uh, an electrical uh, circuit so that when the simulation is done, we can create a schematic view, um, stitching together the active parts and the, and the S parameters from the spiral so that we can use that uh, schematic view for a circuit simulation. So I have already um, created a view for this, uh, an RF Pro view for this um, uh, PCO design. So that I use basically the same process of, you know, launch RF Pro and then go new to create a um, new RF Pro view. So this is the um, CCO design in RF Pro. And when it comes in, um, it was set to, uh, these are the, these are the, the um, bias and core uh, uh, circuit, sub-circuit within the PCO. And I have choose them. I have set the component row for them to be circuit, okay? and the same thing for core, and then bringing these two items into the component section of the uh, full EM simulation. And then I do the same thing, setting up the pins um, as ports, and then running the simulation. And then at the end of the simulation, I just simply do a generate sub-circuit it is going to create the uh, schematic view, uh, stitching together the S parameters and the um, uh, and these two uh, sub circuits, so that I can uh, use that view uh, for a circuit simulation. So this is the uh, circuit view that is being created after I execute the uh, generate sub circuit command. You can see that it has the uh, core, it has the bias, it has the S parameters uh, simulated from uh, from the spiral. And what's nice about it is it makes all these connections uh, automatically. So you end up with a the same uh, the schematic view with the same pin now, so that you can easily choose this view for simulation uh, in the hierarchy hierarchy editor. So if you Go to the um, VCO simulation, and you can go into the uh, config view. And then you can um, come into here 
and enter. And for the GPCO, I mean, you can choose this particular view that was uh, created from the generate, um, you know, uh, subcircuit step. So we can use this view for um, um, a uh, Spectre RF or um, Golden Gate simulation. Um, okay, so that's a quick demonstration of how to use uh, RF Pro in virtuoso environment, uh, running a um, full electromagnetic simulation and doing some um, uh, uh, circuit partitioning. Thanks. Hi, if you have any questions about this uh, video, uh, feel free to contact myself and here's my um, contact information. All right, thank you. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.